Hey friends, I am Anika Larson, AKA Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I wanna help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are talking about goal number 14, life below water. Sing it, Gregory. Life below water. Here to talk about it with us is Broadway star Sierra Bogus. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Nico. Sierra, you're coming to us from LA because you just opened the Secret Garden at the Amundsen Theater. Thank you for joining us before your show tonight. My pleasure. I'm so happy to be here. You've appeared on Broadway in School of Rock, It Should Have Been You, Masterclass, Phantom of the Opera, and of course, you created the role of Ariel in The Little Mermaid. I have a thousand questions about that. Did you study the way fish move? How well do Healy's actually work underwater? Do you feel like playing a half fish has given you like a greater love of the sea and its creatures, like a kinship there? Absolutely. I mean, first of all, I've been vegetarian my entire life, so... Fish for me have always been off the plate, but of course playing Ariel and they're all my friends. So it's like, I can't, I could never eat my friends even if I wanted to. When I booked the role, I was living in Vegas. And so there was like a, a tank in the middle of a casino that had all these fish plus a person playing a mermaid. So I watched like how they move, how they breathe, like all that stuff. I just, I mean, I'm so fascinated by sea life. Okay, so global goal number 14. Sierra, what exactly is the goal of this goal? It's to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. Sing it, Gregory. Conserve and sustainably use the oceans, the seas, and marine resources. Okay, but actually, what does that mean? And if you wouldn't mind telling us as Ariel, then please go ahead. Healthy oceans and sea are essential to our existence. They cover 70% of our planet and we rely on them for food, energy, and water. Yet we have managed to do tremendous damage to these precious resources. We must protect them by eliminating pollution and overfishing and immediately start to responsibly manage and protect all marine life around the world. Okay, now here's something that people don't think a lot about. It's their water waste. We think about our trash. We think about it going into landfills. We think about recycling and stuff. But I don't think we really, most of us, I certainly didn't think about the water waste that comes out of our homes. The good news is that our toilet waste, we're taking care of that. We're crushing that municipally. It's sewage treatment plants. But the waste that comes out of our washing machines is actually a big deal uh, because it ends up in our waterways and eventually in the oceans. Something that we can be proud of in our industry is that thanks to the Broadway Green Alliance, all of the washing machines on Broadway, and there are over a hundred of them, are high efficiency washing machines. So they use less water and less energy. That's true. But one way that everyone's laundry water waste is really hurting the ocean, something called plastic microfibers. And they're just microscopic little bits of synthetic, which means plastic. And they're fibers like acrylic and nylon and the very worst, which is polyester. They rub off of our clothes into the washer. They're so small that they get through the sewage plants and they end up in the oceans and the fish and probably the mermaids and then eventually back into our bodies. They make up these microfibers, 30% of the plastic in the oceans. It's a big problem. But the wicked awesome thing is we can actually solve this problem ourselves. We can't stop the greenhouse gases that get emitted when we turn on our electricity, but we can stop the microfibers where they start in our homes, in our washing machines. And that is really exciting. Tell them how, Sierra. We can try to buy clothes made from natural fibers like linen, hemp, wool, silk, and cotton that biodegrade in our ecosystems. We can choose to wash stuff less, just air things out that we haven't really worn that long. And when we're doing laundry, we can wash on cold with shorter cycles and dry on low, even for longer amounts of time, which keeps our clothes from breaking down so quickly. And we can also use eco-friendly detergent so that we don't put more synthetic chemicals into our water systems. And then here's the big great thing. We can either put a simple filter on our washing machines to stop the microfibers from leaving our homes, or we can put our synthetic clothes in a special filtering laundry bag and throw that in the washing machine. And that does the same thing. 
I have one right here. It is no big whoop to use it. It's super easy and it feels so good to know that I'm controlling that kind of plastic pollution. One of the next initiatives that the Broadway Green Alliance is hoping to work on is getting filters put on all the Broadway washing machines so Broadway doesn't release any microfibers into the ocean. We can do it. And we also got to get legislation passed that says that all new washing machines have to have these filters built in. It's a no-brainer. So that's a target right there. Okay. On a global level, if we widen the lens back out, some of the other targets of goal 14 are... The targets! Reduce marine pollution. Protect and restore marine ecosystems. Ensure sustainable fishing or no fishing from me. Increase science, research, and technology for ocean health. And implement and enforce international sea law for the conservation and sustainable use of oceans. Okay, these are big targets, and you might be wondering what you could possibly do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that it's overwhelming, but you are not powerless. There is always something you can do, something that's manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing, do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Amen, yes we can. Okay, so we've already shared the secrets of doing your laundry better. And of course, you can always find a Goal 14 charity and make a donation, big or small. Never ever buy bottled water if you can possibly help it. Reduce your waste, especially plastic waste, which is a major cause of marine pollution. Organize a cleanup for rivers or oceans. You can do it with friends. Buy local and certified fish, or don't buy fish at all, okay, for Sierra. And always stay informed and vote. 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 Vote! Alrighty, Sierra, as always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! Let's start the clock now. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Oh, those tiny little perfect bars. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school drama teacher? Oh, there's so many options. Let's go with RBG. Yes, RBG. She would oh, work us out, too. I want to watch that drama class. She would work us out. <laughs> yes, she would. What role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were, quote, unquote, the wrong gender? Oh, Javert and Les Mis. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? Yes, I do. And again, that's why we don't buy plastic bottles because you can drink the water out of the faucet. Preach, Sierra. If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? Oh, tap dancing. If there was a blackout and you were trapped inside a theater, where would you go to feel the most safe? Oh, well, first thing I was going to say is near the ghost light, but you said a blackout, so... <laughs> I feel like I would literally just go center stage and just sit there and let all the ghosts like protect me. What is the greatest theater city in the world? New York City, baby. Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid, go. Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter, take it from me. If you don't pollute our oceans. Which family was right? A, the Montagues, B, the Capulets, or C, we should just give peace a chance. Just give peace a chance. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Sierra, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you are ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet, with more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all do the next right thing, and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.